Swatches are identified as spot colors via the Swatch Options dialog box in InDesign. The Swatch Options dialog box can be launched when creating new color swatches or by double-clicking the little square swatch icon to the left of any existing swatch. Then change the color type from process to spot. It's a drop-down menu and it's highlighted here on my slide. As soon as you identify it as a spot color, it communicates to you and to anyone who receives your file that you should purchase that specific color of ink when printing, as opposed to creating that color from a process blend of cyan, magenta, yellow, and black. I'm going to go back a slide for one second. That swatch icon that you'll need to double check are the little colorful icons to the left of the label of your swatch. Simply double click it and it will launch the swatch options dialog box. The color mode drop-down can then be used to modify the color either through color sliders or from a list of specific colors chosen from a swatch library like the Pantone Matching System Swatch Book or Swatch Library. In this example here, you can't see the color mode, but it's set to cyan, magenta, yellow, and black, and there are sliders that you can slide back and forth. I personally find it very frustrating to use these sliders, uh, so I would rather choose my color out of a swatch library change the drop-down menu or the color mode drop-down to the Pantone, let's say, metallic library, and then choose the specific color that I found in the printed swatch book. Adding a color swatch does not necessarily mean a designer wants to use a spot color. It simply means he or she will want to save that color for future use. The save swatch can be a CMYK process version of that color just as easily as it can be a spot color. It could even be a lab or an RGB color. What's important is that when you identify the colors on your swatches panel, you're identifying them as the colors that you want in the color modes that you want in the format that you want. Is it a spot color or is it a process color? And you can see on my slideshow here that the swatches panel looks almost identical on the right and left graphic, but on the right graphic, all those little square icons, second from right, have the halftone example, and on the left example, it turns to a spot color. It's a huge difference to a printer. To a printer, if you use any of the colors on the right-hand side, you'll need four inks to print the job, cyan, magenta, yellow, and black. However, if you choose any of the inks from the left-hand side, or worse, if you choose all of them, you will need to purchase green, red, purple, yellow, orange, purple, yellow, green, pink, and blue ink, and so you'll need a printing press that can have at least one, two, three, four, five, six, seven printing towers. Be careful when adding color swatches. In most cases, color swatches are added as a way to save CMYK colors, not spot colors. Spot colors should only be added when you are doing it for a very purposeful reason. And that can be to designate a color as a printing color with that specific color of ink. So instead of cyan, magenta, yellow, and black, if you're designating a dye line, if you want to add a spot coating or varnish, you can even add foil stamping and identify where project foil stamps or does not. You can use it for embossing and debossing. You can use it for identifying or communicating to a particular type of digital printer like we have in the lab here. I have to use a very specific spot color if I want to tell it to cut or to print an opaque white color, etc.